Everybody got a ball? Yeah. I Dezo was going on. No, Dezo doesn't turn up to these things. He came to one and got uncomfortable. Um, I'm going to be using a slightly bigger ball just because I'm on a really thick carpet and the little ones just sink into it, all right? But everything is going to be the same otherwise. So we're going to start off uh, on the chest. Yeah, so before we do anything, I just want you to find your collarbone for me. Okay, so we're going to be starting right on the inside of the collarbone where it joins up onto your sternum. Oh, there are more people turning up. Okay. <sighs> Those two. All right. <clears throat> Anna, what the hell? Sorry, guys. Just keep your fingers on your collarbone. I like it. <clears throat> All right, you can take them off. These people turn up again. The means is a talent. Come from that inside point of the collar from here. We're going to place that ball right underneath the collarbone into the muscle. So it's right on the border with that sternum, and we're going to lie on it here. All right. So if you just watch for a second, we're going to pop our weight over it. You're going to pop out the right hand, and we're going to push it into the ground so you feel your pec tighten up. And then you're going to relax and let yourself sink into that pec. And we're going to lift that shoulder slightly and we're going to scrub across the pec here and then we'll do that for a little bit and we're going to move on down to the next part of the chest all right and look, so, right onto that collarbone get that ball in there so reach out to the side push down on the floor so you feel that tighten up and relax down onto the ball push down and then tighten up and then we're just going to do a little shimmy. Very there. Okay, so bring that hand up to 45 degrees for me. And then keep that shimmy going there. Now let's bring that hand overhead. Relax onto the ball, let it sink in. Little movement. So really little shimmies. Okay, hand back down to the side, and let's move that ball across the clavicle a little bit. So you're just rolling in towards the outside of the pec. So you should be somewhere around about the middle of the, just before the middle of the pec, all right? Same thing again, push that hand into the floor, get that pec tight, and relax down onto the ball. Push onto the floor, tighten up the pec, and relax down onto the floor. Hand on the side, really small, Movement, scrubbing that ball across just a very small area pack, a couple of centimeters at bed most. Sink as much weight onto it as you can. Okay, hand up to 45 degrees. And put that pack again, sink in, and then little scrubs across. Hand overhead, big breath in, relax, sink down, stay still for a minute, let that ball sink in. Try and relax that onto it, and then little shimmy across again, a little scrub. Bring that hand down to the side for me. Okay, is anybody struggling to get that ball into the pec or is everybody okay? 
any issues, mobility, you get having problems there. So Anna, what you can do is you can pop a ball, sorry, a foot underneath the ball or your fist, and you can hold that ball on your fist here or in your hand so it lifts up off the ground a little bit, and that should help you get it deeper into that pec. All right, just lift you up into your hand, but that should be enough. All right, so let's come to, ooh, where are we? Out in the middle of the pec. Okay, now, Anna, if you keep your hand up into there, hand out to the side, <coughs> push down, sink onto that ball. All right, that's it, good. And then a little shimmy, little shimmy. Hand up to 45 degrees, push in, tighten up, and relax that onto that ball. And again, little shimmies. And overhead, big breath in, and just relax onto the ball. All right, try and sink as deep onto that ball as you can. Little scrubs across, little shimmy. All right, hand down, and we're just going to move all the way to the outside. So all the way on the outside of that collarbone. You should be right on the outside of your pec here. All right, it could be a little bit tricky to get deeper in here, because obviously this little bit lifts up. So a lot of you may have to get your hands underneath that ball. But we'll give it a go. Give you a second. In, if you can relax down onto that ball and feel it pushing into the muscle, and you feel a sort of numbness, then that's fine. If you can't, get your hand under that ball and literally you're almost pushing it up into the pec. Okay, now push down with the hand, tighten up that pec, and relax down. And again, tighten up that pec, and relax down. And then the little scrub across the muscle. Forty-five degrees. Then again, again, tighten up that pec and sink onto the ball, and then a little scrub across. <clears throat> Hand up overhead, big breath, relax that onto the ball. Shimmy. and relax. Ooh. All right, we're gonna change sides. So, find clavicle on the other side, come all the way in, right on the junction of the clavicle and the sternum. I'm gonna pop that ball in there. And then we're gonna sink down. Everyone ready? 
All right, so push that hand in, tighten up that pec, and relax down onto that ball. And again, try and let that ball get as deep into your pec as possible. Ah, little shimmies across. And up to 45 degrees. Ooh. Tighten up, relax down onto the ball. Again. Let that ball sink in deep. And scrub across. And hand over head. Big breath. Relax down. And a little scrub across. And back down to the side. Let's move that ball along a couple of centimeters. And out to the side. Oh, tighten up the pack. Sink onto that ball. And again. And a little chimney. Hand up to 45 degrees. Squeeze that peck. Relax down onto the ball. And again, a little shimmies. And hand overhead. Big breath in. Relax down onto that ball. And a little shimmy. Down a little bit more. <coughs> and out to the side. Push that hand into the floor, tighten up the peck. And relax down onto the ball. Again, one more time. Push the floor, tighten the peck as hard as you can. Sink down onto that ball. As much weight as you can bear. And then little shimmies.
45 degrees. Bend over the pack. Relax down. Little shimmies again. Relax. And overhead. Big breath in. And relax. Let that ball sink in. And shimmy. Relax. All right, last one. All the way to the edge. And out to the side. Big breath in. Push the floor. Tighten up that neck. And relax down. One more time. Tighten up. And relax. Little shimmies. Forty-five degrees. Push down the floor. Height with that pack. Relax down. And then the little shimmies. Okay, relax. Last one, hand over head. Big breath in. And relax down onto that ball. Really try and relax those pecs. Just let that ball sink in. And then last little set of shimmies. And relax. Ooh. How's that? Everyone happy? Good. All right. Oh. All right. So we're going to do an overhead rib thing now. Uh, I'm going to use my lovely assistant to show you what we're going to do. Jeremy. Oh no, he off his stand. I've broken it. That's fine. It doesn't need to be on a stand. So we're going to be working around your scapula here. Okay. What we want to do is we're going to take the ball, we're going to start at the top of the scapula here, and we're going to be working our way all the way around the outside of it here. Okay. So there's quite a lot of work to do in there. And to do this, thank you, Jeremy. You are very helpful. We're going to be getting our weight onto that ball. And we're going to be bringing our hand overhead. Okay? And we're going to be doing big circles around as well. Basically, trying to get as much movement across that ball as possible whilst it's in our back. So, to do this, what we're going to do is I go around this way, so you can see. I come to the top of my scapula here. I place the ball, all right, I'm going <clears> to <throat> come down to the floor, then from here, I'm going to need to lift my hips off the floor to get some pressure into this ball, and then it's going to be, oh, hand coming overhead, all right, so you can see I can't get my hand to the floor there, so I'm going to work that range of movement until it loosens up 
and allows me to come to the floor. Okay? So you don't have to do this every time. You can come from this position. You can come from a small range of movement. You just want to stay where most of that pain is. All right? I'm not going to lie to you, this one is going to be uncomfortable, but we're going to try and work on getting that perfect overhead position. All right? We're probably going to be spending five minutes on each scapula. Okay, so this could be a little bit spicy. All right, everybody ready? Loins girded and so forth. All right, so. Pop the ball. Just basically the top of the scapula here. You should be able to feel where that bone is. The ball should be uncomfortable rubbing into it. Onto your back. Bring your feet as close to your bum as you can. Lift those hips up. You should start to feel that pressure on the ball. And then we're just going to try and bring that hand overhead. Okay? Don't force it. I just want you working an uncomfortable range of movement, but I don't want you in absolute burning agony. Except you, Mr. Kerr. I'm in agony. My nectar. So just moving, don't stay still at all. You can lift your hips up higher, get more pressure onto that ball. Right, so we move the ball now a couple of centimeters along the outside of that scapula. Okay, hips up again, reach up high with that hand, hips up high, and then little movements. Slowly bring that hand overhead. You should be able to get the back of your hand to the floor with a straight arm. That's what we're going for. No chance. One more. Excellent. All right. And we're just going to move around that scapula a little bit again. So it's going to get a bit more painful as we move towards the outside. What I want you to think about doing before anything else is reaching your hand up to the ceiling, try and pull that scapula away and expose more of those lovely, delicate little muscles. Hips up and bring that hand overhead. Oh, yeah, that's, that's fun. Isn't it? <laughs> If you can get that hand all the way overhead to the floor, you can just leave it there for a few seconds. And then we move that ball again. So you should be able to just move your body around the ball now, keeping it in contact with that scapula. Hand up to the ceiling. Oh, I feel like this is going to be a bad one. Hips up. And, yep, overhead. Okay. You can rotate your body to get more pressure onto the ball. You can put your hand under your back to keep your hips up high. Do whatever you can to keep that pressure on the ball. On this one, if you can get your hand overhead, I want you to think about dropping your hips to the floor as well. Okay, and we move round again. That's it, reach up high, right into that ball, and come overhead. So you may have to lean into the ball, so twist towards it this time. Again, if you get your hand overhead, bring your hips to the floor and you can rotate into that ball a little bit. And relax. Last one, all the way down to the bottom. So 
give yourself a little wiggle, get that ball into position, reach up high, turn to get as much weight into it as possible, and just bring that hand overhead. Relax. Take a second, compose yourself. If you bring your hands overhead together, you should feel the difference in that overhead position. Even if your hands you've just done is going to the same position, it should feel looser, all right? Even me, I've got about a centimeter difference on that, all right? Quite a big difference. Okay, you all ready for the other side? Not seeing a lot of enthusiasm. Should, Ray, should should it be going? Should you be going like? Sorry. Should you be going that way in with yeah. the ball? Yeah, around the out. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. We all ready? Yeah. Yep. All right. Let's go again. <sighs> so, find the top of that scapula. Bring that ball into it. Hold it in place. Onto the floor. Ooh. Hand up, clear that shoulder blade out the way, hips up, and let's bring that hand over. <sighs> Move down a little bit. So, reach up high, move that scapula up and out of the way, expose those lovely soft muscles, and let's try and bring that hand overhead. Let's move around again, reach up high, hips up, and back over the head. <coughs> if you're doing this exercise on your own outside of the class, obviously if you find a bit that hurts more, stay on it for longer. And relax. Let's move that ball around a bit more. Reach up, hips off the ground, and let's come overhead. Relax. Round. Just two more to go. So get that ball in nice and tight against the scapula. Reach up. Wiggle in a little bit more if you have to. Hips up. And roll that weight towards the outstretched arm. Get a bit more pressure on around this one part. If you're feeling brave, you can lift your shoulders up off the floor to get a bit more pressure into it. Relax, then down to the last little bit, ooh, at the bottom. Reach up, so, overhead.
And relax. All right. That should leave both your arms feeling nice and loose. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm as a, oh, I think we've got time for one more little exercise. We'll just do a little bit more on our overhead position. So this time what we're going to do is we're going to work down the spine. So we'll come from spine here and we're going to work on the right side first. So your ball is going to come from that spine and just go slightly to the right here. So it's going to be a very similar thing to what we just did. Hand in here. Get that weight arm, hips up. This time we're going to do a big circle across. All right. We'll do four or five in one direction, then go back the other way. We'll work our way a little bit down the back and then we'll go down the other side. All right? You might get a few bits of grinding and popping doing this one. Don't worry about it. Probably fine. Okay, so, get up, find the spine. Work down a little bit so there's a big lump here on your spine. I want you to go below that. And just go to the right for now, into that big piece of muscle next to the spine. Lie back. We're just going to move your weight slightly headwards to screw that ball right in tight. Feet up to your butt, hips up just a little bit. We don't have to be all the way up into the air. And we're going to bring that hand overhead. We're going to do a big circle. Reach across your body, bring it up overhead. And keep those hips up, maintain that pressure. <laughs> Directions. Ooh. <sighs> now relax, leave the ball where it is, and just shimmy up a few centimeters so you feel that ball move down the spine. But try and keep that pressure on it. Feet back into the butt, hips up. Oh, this one's worse. Hand overhead. Circle that hand. Change directions. Relax. Shoot me up again. Hips up. Hand overhead. Big circles. Change direction. Relax. All right, just one more. Okay, shimmy up. This is really painful. You're going to have quite a bit of weight on this, all right? So, ooh, hips up, hand over head, and circle. And change direction. Sit up. Oh. Ian, are you alright? You sound like you're having a heart attack. No, I'm not having a heart attack. You sure? Positive. All right, I've got Gillian on speed dial here just in case. <laughs> alright, let's change sides. <sighs> okay, feet up to your butt, hips in the air. And then jump overhead and shift across and not hitting stuff. 
<laughs> Big circles. Change direction. Excellent. Relax. Should be up a little bit. And overhead, big circles. And uh, yeah, you soon. Ten minutes. Change direction. Sit and relax. Give me that ball down a little bit more. Okay, remember this is where it starts to get quite painful. Hips up, hand overhead, big circles. Change direction. Excellent. Relax. Oh. One, should we go? Oh, up. Sorry. Ah. Oh, good noise. Steps up. And then head. Big circles. Change direction. Last one. And relax. Ooh, all right. Job done. Ooh. <clears throat> all right, guys. So, Again, as per usual, I've got a few minutes. So if you want to hang around, you've got any questions, I can wait around. Otherwise, enjoy your more flexible upper body. And I'll see you all Friday. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.